In this video, I'm going to show you about Cholesky factorization. So, for doing Cholesky factorization, what we start with a matrix A, which is going to have to be symmetric, positive, definite. So, what does it mean to be positive, symmetric, definite? Well, you can watch my video on uh, symmetric, positive, definite, or I'll just tell you here. Basically, it means that for any vector x, x transpose a, x has to be greater than 0 for all values except when x is 0, it will be uh, equal to 0. For all other values, it should be positive. If it's positive or equal to 0, we call it semi-positive definite. So, and what does symmetry mean? Symmetry basically means that A is equal to A transpose. Now, if we're going to talk about complex matrices, this basically translates to A is equal to A and then the transpose conjugate, which is, and this is also known as a Hermitian, Hermitian matrix. Okay, so assuming that A satisfies the, this property of being Hermitian positive definite or for real symmetric positive definite, we can always factor A into L, L transpose, where L is a lower triangular matrix and L transpose is an upper triangular matrix. And the other thing about these L's is going to be that the diagonal is always going to be positive. So this factorization is known as the Cholesky factorization. Okay, so that's the basic thing. Now, the next thing is how do you use this? So let's say that you want to solve an equation A, x equals b, which happens in linear regression, for example, for x. And A satisfies this property of being symmetric, positive, definite. Then you can always factor into Cholesky. So you can always factor it as L, L transpose, X equals B. And once you factor, then you can call this variable Y and solve this set of six equations. So you can say L transpose x is equal to y, and l y is equal to b. So if you solve this for y, then you have y, and then you can solve for x. So if you solve this, then you can solve ax equals b. So this is one way of using Cholesky. You can also use Cholesky in other um, problems such as Kalman filters and Monte Carlo simulations, etc. But I'll leave it at that. Now, how exactly does uh, it work? So, let's say that you have this matrix A, whose which can be factored into its usual L, D, U factorization. So this is, this you can do for a more general case than the, the uh, Cholesky case. But now let's uh, say that for this L, D, U case, in the case of Cholesky, it's symmetric, which means A is equal to A transpose. And now for, since A is equal to LDU, and this is equal to L, so U transpose, D transpose, L transpose. That's how you transpose a matrix like LDU. You reverse it and you transpose each one. Now D is a diagonal matrix, so it's equal to D itself. So you can just say U transpose D 
L transpose. Now notice that since these two are equal, L is equal to U transpose and U is equal to L transpose. So you can also write this as U transpose D U. Since you write uh, it this way, U transpose D U. And now you can write this as u transpose square root of this d, the other part of the square root of d, u. And writing it this way, you can see that this is one is the transpose of the other, and this is a um, this basically is u, u transpose, so you can call this some other matrix. It can be an upper or lower matrix. I did upper. You could have done the same exact thing with lower instead of upper up here. So you can get exactly what is the correct refactorization. In this case, I'll call it upper transpose u. You could have also got, gotten l transpose l, which is what we used for Cholesky before. So this is how we can derive the Cholesky factorization and its existence. Okay, thank you for listening uh, to Aditya Mittal from Ethnic Universe.